Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back inside Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, I don't know how many people are actually going to get this message, or if it even is ever going to, you know, go out to anyone, but I'm here, and I mean, the best thing that I could do is probably just send the message out, so why not? Um, if you haven't seen this video or this show, this channel before if, if, if you're new um welcome first off and uh second of all it's not really like gameplay channel it's more like a vlog slash video encouragement motivational whatever um so i don't want to get your hopes up and be like oh my gosh it's like all instructions of roblox because it's, it's not it's i give good instructions and we play and have fun but I don't know. <clears throat> um, something that kind of weighs on my mind that I always think about is the age of the subscribers that I have and the fact that I'm not going to be able to save the planet. I can't. Not that I, you know, don't put it forth an effort of some kind to do something about the environment, the politics, the troubles that we go through every single day. But um, something that was on a, a video recently kind of disturbed me. It said, uh, scientists say that we have 12 years to fix the Earth before it's like truly messed up. I don't agree with that. Uh, in fact, I think of the Earth as this amazing self-recycling thing. Like, it's it's gonna look at us and be like, humans, pollution, <laughs> and just shake us off. <coughs> That's the way I feel. Now, at the same time, I do see everything that's going on. I do see the wars that break out and I do see the pollution that's happening and I see all these things that are happening to the earth, happening to humans. And I'm not going to sit there and pretend like global pollution and global warming aren't real because they very much are and they've been proven time and time again. And we wanted to change it. Oh, it's not global warming, it's global climate change. Why did we do that? Well, we did that because it sounds better than global warming. Um, just because it's getting ice storms. Oh, see, it's not global warming, it's, it's cold. No, that's a result of, of the pollution. That's, that's what greenhouse gases do. That's how this thing works. And I grew up an era where we'd get our weekly readers and we'd learn about these world newses and stuff like that. And I thought back then, well, my parents will take care of it. You know, grown-ups will do something about it. And that's not true. Grown-ups aren't going to do anything about it. <clears throat> hate to say this, but in 12 years, if you're 12 years old, that makes you 24. So... That's going to be your world if you're 12 uh, or younger. And I want you to think about this for a second because I'm not going to save the planet. You are. You sitting there, if you're one of my young audiences and you're not thinking about it right now and you don't have a care in the world about whether or not something's going to affect you in 12 years because that's a really long time but I will tell you right now that time goes by so fast it goes by super fast and if you don't believe me ask your parents <sighs> ask your older brother ask your ask your mom your dad your grandmother it is very fast and I'm just one person. I'm one person with a microphone and a family and I wrote a book. <laughs> you know, because I got to keep mentioning it. Got to keep telling you guys, hey, 
wrote a book out there. And that's, that's some accomplishments. And I feel very accomplished in my life. But I want to do more. I would love to keep going even further than this. I mean, I have ambitions, I have dreams, I have everything. But what I don't have is time. And by maybe doing something with the time I do have, like make a video like this, I can reach out to somebody else who might have time. Or maybe in, even influence somebody who might not know it yet, but they will be a lawmaker, or they will be an influencer, or they will be somebody who will have future power. And if you're listening to this right now, then I have your ear. I have an influence. And I want you to know that the decisions that you make when you become that person in power will affect everyone around you. And you have a chance to save the world or destroy it. Be sure you know what you're going to do with your power when you get it. <sighs> but, you know, it's just a YouTube channel where a guy who plays Roblox can come and make a video. Okay, I, I can't place that. There he goes. Anyhow, um, if you don't know what I'm doing right now, I am actually putting a whole bunch of doors up there because we're, we're building a staircase. <laughs> if this is your first video that you've ever seen, sorry, Ed. <laughs> I didn't even explain the game that I was playing and what I was doing. Uh, inside Lumber, you can build these things and do these, these this stuff. And uh, con very, very much different context because inside this game, inside this world, we're chopping down trees. Oh, by the way, Arbor Day is coming up soon. Should I do something special for the trees? Should I, should I do something to celebrate the Arbor Day? Are you going to do something special? Plant a tree? Um, is your class going on a field trip or doing anything? You can let me know in the comments if you want. No pressure. Okay, this is... Okay. Let's, let's go... Uh, let's go up here like this. There we go. I'm just going to start moving these. Hold on, can I... Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. There we go. That, that kind of works. Here, let's take this door here. Oh, oh, there we go. Need like a little staircase of things. Okay, I'm gonna need to open this door, which is gonna have to open the other way. It's gonna have to open this way. Like that, and then I can move this. B. Okay, so <clears throat> let's place this right about there, and we'll shut that door on it. Move B, just like that. Hmm. I wonder if I could have gotten that closer. Maybe not. Is that good? I don't know if that's good or not. Mm, I got plenty of doors. Anyhow, my main point of the uh, message I wanted to give to you guys is um, just do what you can and ignore the haters if they're going to hate. What does that mean, Code? Um, for example, if you see a piece of trash on the ground, right? You think to yourself, ooh, nasty, I'm not going to touch that. Well, yeah, okay. Um, somebody else doesn't want to touch it or do anything with it. Grab a piece of paper, grab something, and pick it up and get it off the ground. Like, I've seen so many people walk over pieces of trash for no reason. In parking lots and in... 
Subways. I just, I don't understand the point of walking right over something that you know is trash and leaving it there. And then, to make you think even further, because this is, this is also a problem. When you pick up that piece of trash and you place it into the trash can, okay, that piece of trash is going to get picked up by a garbage man or taken out by a, a worker of some kind and taken out to a dumpster. And that dumpster is going to be collected up by a garbage truck or by someone who is then going to take that and drive it out to a landfill. And that landfill is where that piece of trash that you just picked up that you were concerned about is going to go right back onto the ground. So don't think about trash in the same way of like, oh, put it into the trash can. Think of it as we need to find a better way of getting rid of trash or recycling trash. And right now it's just too expensive to recycle. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's, it costs money to recycle things, but it also costs money to produce those things. So if you could get the person who's producing them to pay the cost that it would take to recycle the thing that they produced, don't you think that would be a better solution to the problem? I don't know if this is going to work. That's, is that cross section actually touching? Okay, we missed it <laughs> completely. But that was a much better way of doing that. So let's uh, let's move this one down, and we're gonna have to open this one up. And come on, move B. There we go. Now I should be able to move this one. And having a cross section right there at the door seemed to have worked. side again okay here we go open the side come down here grab this uh, move it and we're going to come up one maybe oh wait, that works there like that like a little hat perfect <laughs> so now swing it this way I think we're going to get this thing done today. We've been recording for 13 minutes, so. Anyhow, think about the future, starting now. And if you if you are an adult, I want you to think of a way that you could actually influence those around you and make a difference yourself. I know I talk a lot and Sometimes it's overwhelming, <laughs> but I mean, we, we as a people, as, as human beings, we are in trouble and I don't, I don't want to sugarcoat it and be like, oh no, everything's fine. Everything's perfect. Mm, it's not perfect, but it's not been perfect for a while and it's okay. For now, it's okay. It's not going to be. And eventually it's going to be worse but there is something we can do about it at least try what's going on with that door there <laughs> anyway 
Anybody else see that one just sticking out the side there? It's got a couple of them. I don't know what happened. Is this one open? Open door, closed door. That's, there it was. There it was. <laughs> it's that one. <sighs> That's funny. Move B. Move B. Move B. I don't know which ones were influenced, but that's fine. All right. Anyhow, <clears throat> it's always good to think about the future and think about things. Imagine what the world could be if we didn't have any kind of trash or pollution or hate or meanness. I would I would love to live in a world without conflict, but good luck to my dreams, right? And I can do my best to try. Come on, what is going on? It's not gonna match up, is it? You're just being difficult now. Can I not open that door? Uh-oh. Close door. Move. B. Open door now. Can we move it? There we go. That'll work. That's fine. <laughs> Let's see if we can't move it down just a little bit. Come on. No, that's that's where it's gonna stick. Okay. Now we can move B. Uh oh. <laughs> Silly thing. Move B. Good. All right. should be able to oh I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that oh well <sighs> so um tell me what you think do you think the world is in trouble and do you feel like there's something you can do about it. And be honest. I mean, if you if you really don't know, then that's fine. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to tilt that whole thing up, aren't I? Move this down. Get it out of the way. What is holding this in place? Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we should be able to go. Let's see, it's if we look right here at this door, it's about two units down. So we should be able to go one more unit like that. No, I'm 
I'm trying to... I'm trying to shut the door. Shut the door. Close door. There we go. Is that big enough of a gap? Is it too much of a gap? I can't tell. Tell you what, we'll do this. <clears throat> let's move this down to the side. And let's go ahead and open this door. Move this door. Uh-oh. There we go. And we will close that door. Open it from this side. And now, move B. There we go. And let's go ahead and just do a turn, just like that. Come on. These are so hard to manipulate. There we go. Is that door closed now? It is. Good. So now I should be able to open this door from the top and move this door, B, and away we go. <laughs> So I know that um, this this message has been kind of dark, kind of, oh man, but it's a message that I hope gets out and it actually influences somebody, somewhere, somehow, and I hope it sticks. I want this message, message, message to stick in your mind and at least be carried throughout the day. And I want you to think about it as you go about doing whatever it is you do. I mean, even if it's the end of the day and you're about to go to bed, just have it discussed. I want you to discuss it with your friends, with neighbors, with teachers. Bring it up in class. I mean, it should be very relatable to have something that you can do to help improve our situation. Whether it's starting recycling cans in school or doing something along those lines. And don't get me wrong, I still believe that like the the earth is an automatic recycling thing. Okay? So but I also think that we, we started way too late to try and actually save things. No offense. I, I don't think um, we're going to be able to, to correct everything that we've done in time. We've done too much damage, is what I think. But it's not... It's not a, a hopeless cause. It's not a lost cause. It's still our home. It's it's our planet. And we need to protect it. Hold on. Did that? Yeah, that did not touch. Alright, let's move that one down. And we're going to open this one up. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. B. Ideas. <clears throat> Write down below what your ideas for saving our planet would be. Turn. And think about real world scenarios, real things that you yourself could make happen. And parents, I encourage you to do the same. And if you're watching with your kids, discuss with them. Hey, what can we do to save the planet? What can we do as a family to increase our quality of life here on Earth? Then make a plan to actually do it. Because I know there's a lot of people out there who talk. I'm one of them. I mean, I, I am a person who will talk theory and, and philosophy and scholar stuff scholar stuff. Great word there, Code. Good job. 
Way to show your brain. Um. <laughs> but no, I'm serious. Um. I will discuss things all day long. But when it comes time to make a change or time to do something, I'm kind of lazy. Not gonna lie. I don't want to recycle. I don't want to have to separate out all my plastics and my aluminums and my paper. But I do. I mean, we recycle cans. And right now, like literally, I'm staring at probably about 24 bags of aluminum cans. And the reason they get stacked up like that is because it is a pain to take them to the recycling center. There's nobody that comes out here. I don't get paid for somebody to pick them up. In fact, I have to pay somebody to come and pick them up if I want the cans themselves recycled. It's not even worth the amount of the money the cans are worth. I mean, I would say once every six months, I take all of my cans, collect it up, and I run them into... The recycling center and it is a pain it is time that I've got to take off work it's time that I have to take away from my family it's not easy there you go could somebody come up with an easier way for me to get my cans recycled please maybe maybe a machine that teleports them to the recycling center for me and then pays me a little check or something I don't, I don't know just something different because the way it's working now doesn't really work <clears throat> oh come on why is this not it just does not want to go in there does it hmm If I can get it just right, that should be the last set of steps I'll need. So let's go ahead and move this bottom one. Move. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Two. I just realized how far along we are. <laughs> All that effort and I still fell. <clears throat> We're at 28 minutes. Good timing code. Good timing. Anyhow, I should title this one like, I'm not going to save your planet or something like that. Or I'm not, I'm not going to be able to save the planet. That or please help save the planet. Or I don't, I don't know. Lots of marketing strategy ideas to make you feel things, to make you try and do stuff, because that's what marketing is. And that's why people donate money to these huge, life-changing, earth-saving things. It's hard to tell who's lying and who's not. And it's hard to tell who's being sincere. Like, are you really trying to save the planet, or are you trying to scam money off people? How do we know all that money is actually going towards something that we ourselves believe in, or that you're actually taking care of? We don't know. Like, honestly, there's there is no way to tell. <sighs> and I mean, you could always have people come out and be like, Oh yes, I'm the quality check person of the blah 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 federation foundation for better earth alright who are you we don't know so anyhow <clears throat> I think I'm done for this episode I'm going to run out there grab a uh, grab a palm tree hopefully this all stuck I'm hoping it all stuck. No big gaps or anything like that. Okay. Let's turn it around. Let's walk back. This is with no hands. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yay!
That's really cool. So now the last part is going to be making that uh, that walkway at the very end. And now we have palm for life. Palm forever. With no long planks. With no worries of if a long plank's going to fall through the ground because of a glitch of some kind. And a, a great video to go and share with your classroom. Or to share with your teacher. To share with your people. And teachers, if you are a teacher and you're watching me right now, I just want to say thank you. All right, huge shout out to teachers because first off, you guys do not get paid enough. All right, ladies, men, coaches, principals, you do not get paid enough. The board, however, make a lot of money. So chairmans and people of that nature, okay, you still make a lot more money than a teacher does. And I understand you make these big executive decisions about what to, no, 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 no. Pay your teachers. All right, and kids, give huge respects to your teachers because you only have to deal with one teacher, but that teacher is dealing with who knows how many kids. Oh gosh, I can't stop. Stop walking. There we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, we got some big palm trees this time. Oh my goodness. Which one shall I pick? I'll, I'll pick this one. This is a good one. That's a good one. Mm, yay. So now I should be able to just walk this back. Actually, hold on. I want to walk back the opposite direction. So I'm going to start it like this. And I'm going to pick it up the other way. Like this. So now I should be able to go Let's see, hold shift, let's tilt this up, and we're going to look up, Can do this one more time, like that. Now, oh gosh, I'm, really, I'm actually really worried. I have to hold my hands like really still. Anyhow. If you guys can't tell I'm not looking down, that's because I'm not moving the mouse whatsoever. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. If everything goes according to plan, I should just walk straight up the, uh, the doors and directly onto my base. But I can't move. Yeah, this video just escalated. We are getting closer, I promise. If you can't see it on the video, it's there. My heart is actually pumping a little, or it's like beating a little bit faster right now. As we get closer, oh gosh. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Should I slow it down? No, let's go full speed. Full speed, straight up. Ready? Here we go. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. What? <laughs> oh, gosh. That was awesome. There you have it. We have a working bridge with staircase. That was awesome. And there might be some little gaps, and it might not be even, but it's mine, and I made it, and it's amazing. Uh, that is so cool. Now, I've never actually taken one of these full ones and sold it off to see how much it is. So, do you guys want to do that real quick? Do you guys want to see how much money one of these palm trees makes? It's up to you, if you want to. Come on, buddy. Is that it? Is that it? Is that all that came out of that thing? 
What? I think I think I got more because of the glass door. I did that thing. Oh, hold on. There we go. Well, let's take it and we'll go sell it off. And I'll show you how much money one palm tree makes. Make billions by selling palm wood for free. <clears throat> by the way, ice wood actually sells for more, but you can't get quite as much. Actually, you might be able to get a lot. Okay, so let's take out our handy dandy blues clues notepad. 4310974 is our number to start. And because I'm paranoid, 4310974, make sure it's the exact same number it is. It's good. So now I can come back over here. Sell off one full plank. And our second number is. Four three one three two seven three. Four three one three two seven three. So, using my handy dandy blues clues calculator, four three one three two seven three minus four three one zero nine seven four equals two thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars. So, uh, let's see. Usually about five trees per island. About eleven thousand dollars for walking back and forth on that thing five times. Uh, yeah, back and forth five times. 11,000? Not bad. <sighs> and it would be less time than, uh, than a lava run. Just saying. Actually, this is, let's just leave the truck there. Why not? Thank you everyone for listening to me ramble for the last 30 minutes. I really appreciate it. And thank you for being here and being part of the channel. You know? And if you want to stay, hit that subscribe button somewhere over there and that like button. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, um, hit the like and leave me a comment. Let me know why. <laughs> That's a call out at the end. It's just, it's silly because the subscribe button is supposed to be like, hey, I like your content. I want to see more of your content. But no, the subscribe button just means, hey, I, I kind of want to subscribe to this person. And, you know, if YouTube wants to notify me, that's fine. What really, you know, drives it home and says, I really like your content is that notification bell over there. Okay. And that's, that's the kicker. All right. You can hit the subscribe button all day long, but until you hit that bell, you won't know that I, I did a new video. Uh, oh, except for the fact that I do a new video every single day for 365 days of the year where I might take a break every once in a while. And I'll tell you this, YouTube has been one of the hardest jobs I've ever done, ever. I was in the Marine Corps. Okay, the, okay, I take that back. <clears throat> the Marine Corps is pretty hard. Okay, they, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to compare any job to the Marine Corps, but, yeah, well, it's more of a lifestyle. Um, but, in comparison to most jobs that I've had, YouTube is by far the most time-consuming and stressful with very little payout. I'm just saying. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro! Thank you.